Hi folks, it's Danny at Bradley James Classics and I'm bringing you a, a trade-in car, well, van. And it's called a Ford Tornio, which is actually a transit with lots of seats in. Uh, it's a nine-seater minibus. Usually not the sort of car that we would expect to see here at a classic car dealer, but we do, within reason, part exchange anything in. Um, so it looks like you've got three comfy seats with um, seat belts in the rear, uh, three in the middle, uh, and then you've got three in the front. So that's your nine seats. Um, the vehicle itself is a 2012 um, Transit, which has been used its entire life up to about January this year when it had its first normal MOT as a plated minibus. So lots of miles, 339,000 miles to be precise. Um, so it's not something we can sell like our, a modern usual car where you would have your uh, spectacular warranty and so on and so forth. I'm afraid this has to be sold on a trade basis, but its value is at least 50% less than uh, a vehicle which has done um, a lot less miles. Now this one's had a reconditioned engine halfway through its life, so... I'm assuming when the engine was changed at about 160,000 miles, the new one's got a similar amount on. Um, it doesn't have a great deal of service history, I'm afraid. It only has had a, um, a basic service at the, uh, the garage where the previous owner um, was local to. Um, and actually, it's always been on the button, reliable. It certainly starts very easily. It does have its um, service book. That shows the vehicle being serviced very regularly. In fact, every six months it looked to have an oil change, um, and in some cases more than that. Uh, despite the mileage, actually, it seems to have survived quite well. Um, the specification looks nice. It has working air conditioning in the front here, the Sony DAB radio. The fan only works in position four, but it does work. It's a six-speed manual gearbox. That's those epic miles. And this model does come with a rev counter and uh, cruise control. And, and actually, as transits go, it's quite posh. Uh, a leather trim steering wheel, um, electric windows. It has two keys, central locking. Um, and just to turn the key for you now, that jumps straight into life. Uh, no warning lights, which is uh, quite impressive. So. I'm now going to shut the doors up and I will show you around the bodywork. Now, there are, as you can imagine, with a vehicle of this age and mileage, it does have some battle scars. It would appear that the front um, bonnet doesn't, appear, doesn't look like it's had the greatest repaint in the world. They are prone to getting little uh, rusty stone chips. A little tip for that is that for about 30, 40 quid, you could actually buy what's called a bonnet bra and it covers the front of the transit and you could buy a black one but the truth is you step back a few few feet and it was perfectly okay front bumper looks to be in good condition as does this front wing uh, a couple of that looks like parking marks here but the driver's side in fact corrosion wise it looks pretty good because they can suffer actually rusty front arches and wings not on this one uh, sliding door works perfectly okay if you look closely, you can see it's actually had a sticker here where it would have said private hire. Tinted black glass, it looks quite smart. Uh, alloy wheels all round. Um, a bit of paint has come off here where I think a sticker has been pulled off here. Um, it has a large uh, up and over rear door. So even though you can get nine people in here, there's room for luggage. Uh, a big window with a wash wipe. Uh, I'm gonna open the... That's the sliding door at the back, and here is that panel. Now there's a little bit of grot forming in this arch here. That would need to have some attention if you're trying to make this van look very pretty again. Uh, otherwise, the panels look quite straight at the back. Again, if you look very closely, the odd mark and denting um, parking mark here, but not too bad. It looks pretty presentable. Um, there's a small bit of dents here, but you know, I'm being fussy. Uh, front wing looks good, mirrors appear to be in good order. And I'm just looking at the glass, 
It's a very minor, it's a very small one, probably wouldn't get mentioned on the MOT. They do have a defrosting front screen on the transits of this age, uh, so it's a pretty good spec. Now, if you go looking at prices of year 12 nine seater minibus Tornios like this, um, they range from five to 8,000 miles with a lot less miles, uh, naturally. This one represents excellent value of what we're asking for this one. So you get all the looks of the much more expensive um, minibus at less than half the price. So if you are prepared to drive a 339,000 mile uh, transit that looks to have been well maintained, actually from a distance, there is a bit of a dent in this bit here, but because it's black, it's hard to see, but it does clean up quite well. I must say, interior wise, um, it seems to have survived quite nicely. There's the seats, and considering the mileage, they look quite pretty. Um, we have got working air conditioning, and we've got that dab radio. Um, quite smart, the interior has been looked after. There's rubber mats covering the carpet. Um, and there's your, your three seats. Uh, if you want to get into the back, you go into that side and that seat, this seat folds, uh, folds forward, seat belts for all, and that's the condition of the rear row of seats, and that's three seats across the back with headrests and uh, seat belts, and there's that rubber matting. So, considering the price point, um, having driven the van as soon as it came in as a part exchange, I, I can vouch for the fact that it does drive, uh, it does drive very well actually. I don't think you'll be upset with how it goes. Um, there were a couple of advisories on the MOT, which from, was early in 2024, but literally very few. And as I mentioned, that was the first time it had ever had an MOT because it had been used as a private hire. So just to summarize, this is a low cost, nine seater transit minibus, um, called the Tornio, uh, very nice condition inside. It's very presentable outside, but far from being perfect. Um, it ought to prove a, uh, a good buy for someone who is looking for an inexpensive minibus. It's obviously a, a good uh, base for a camper conversion because it's got all the glass in already uh, and, a, and a nice uh, ceiling uh, with ventilation. Air conditioning works in the front, alloy wheels, um, electric windows and mirrors comes with two keys it does come with its um, user manual dealer folder um, not much in the way of uh, printed out service history but being a, a minibus they do get serviced a lot i know it's had um, a reconditioned engine and so actually the 339,000 miles is spread across two engines one new engine and one reconditioned engine so hopefully there's life in the old girl yet and just to clarify due to the high mileage i'm afraid this isn't a vehicle that we could sell as uh, you know, an ordinary retail vehicle we have to sell this on a trade basis due to the mileage so i'm afraid it is a sold as seen vehicle i do want to make that perfectly clear uh, however at the price point i still think this will suit somebody very nicely thank you for watching the video if you have any questions please get in touch through the ask a question or send me an email or give us a call uh, we're based in basingstoke and you are welcome to pick the vehicle up uh, well overton just outside basingstoke uh, we're open five and a half days a week thanks folks it's danny at bradley james signing out